champion. Three years ago in Doha, Qatar, Grant Holloway from Chesapeake stood on top of the world. And this weekend, he's ready to run it back. I'm definitely getting anxious just to get out there and just, you know, showcase the, the hard work that I've been putting in. But, um, you know, it, it, the, the hardest part is the waiting game. The easiest part is just going out there and competing. And most days, Grant Holloway makes the 110-meter hurdles look pretty easy. The main thing that I tell myself is I look back on the promises that I made myself when I first signed, you know, my first professional contract. And I promised myself at every major world championship, rather if it's indoor, outdoor, I'm going to make sure I get a medal. So... I'm going to go out there and defend what's mine. Only 24 years old, Grant will lead the red, white, and blue into Eugene, Oregon as a team captain for the very first time. It, it means the world. The thing that, that always gets me, I'm, I'm young. And for them to see me in the light that they see me, for them to have me, you know, be a, an example or a representation of Team USA is, is always good. So I'm, I'm looking forward to just going out there and just doing what I do best. 1281, my God. And last summer, Grant fell just short of the best time in the history of this race. One one hundredth of a second shy of world record time in the semifinal round of the Olympic trials. That's all I keep playing back, and that's the only thing I keep watching. He'll go for back-to-back -back world titles on that very same track in Eugene. The last time I had home field advantage was at Grassville when I was playing football, so it's good to it's good to have a little bit of home advantage right now. Especially when a win would make him the first American hurdler ever to claim a world championship on U.S. soil. We, we have the chance to do something that Team USA has never done, and that's sweep the hurdles. So I'm going to make sure I motivate motivate my teammates. He had to settle for silver at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Really, after the Olympics, I told him we're going to make sure we, we, we get back on top. And he's looking to reclaim that top spot on the podium this weekend. Semifinal race begins 8.30 on Sunday. For the Sports Wrap, I'm Nathan Epstein.